Hey, what's up? It's Cecily. It's been an exciting week in Rideshare News, so let's get to it. Did Lyft ban your account? Well, some drivers may be receiving a second chance. Lyft has just announced that they've imposed a new protocol to determine if drivers are a threat to passengers. Woo, that's nice. Deactivated drivers will now have the chance to ask for a review based on new standards. And in the past, issues of deactivation were settled by a black and white decision structure. Now Lyft's new structure will call for human interaction. Company policy aside, from what I've heard from drivers is that if a passenger complains about a driver doing something that violates the community standards, they're immediately removed from the platform with very little room for recourse. So now Lyft says that they, the new structure will provide a clear policy on unacceptable behavior okay, and incidences and uh, will be judged on a case-by-case -case basis. So why are they doing this? Now, Lyft says that they want to make Lyft the safest form of transportation for everyone, which is good. But here's one contrasting viewpoint. Legal experts say that standardization of how to remove drivers from the platform could shield the company from allegations that its processes are unscientific or unfair. So Lyft drivers have not been notified of this change, but the announcement is coming soon. Um, so more on this topic will be available at the link below. An Uber driver buys clothes for a sick baby after meeting. Now the Uber driver, Belinda Smith, gifted her passenger, Nikki Ihas, spontaneously with a shopping spree for her sick child. The new mom called an Uber so that she could buy clothes for her sick son. Uh, the two have been staying at the John Hopkins Medical Center for Children due to her son receiving care for a life-threatening condition. Smith picked her up in front of the hospital and the two discuss what the new mom was going through and her frustrations. Smith drops her off and the two part ways, but Smith has a change of heart and she offers to help the new mom. In tears a couple of times and I really felt for her. She's like, well, I'm gonna help buy you some clothes for your son. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> like, I can't even imagine. A GoFundMe account has been created to help the little one. If you'd like to donate, that link is in the description. New rideshare for kids company Zoom may be the answer to Uber's unaccompanied minors rule. Now, Zoom is the newest of the rideshare kids companies and they are providing service to a school called St. Andrews in Florida. They signed up for a pilot program to offer transportation for their students via the app. Now I looked at their website and they bill themselves as the transportation alternative for schools and they state that they have 4,000 contracts with uh, districts and schools. Representatives say that the drivers undergo a strict selection process which includes the FBI, Department of Justice level background checks, fingerprints, and the like. In addition, Zoom is also said to be very selective, so very few drivers get through the application process. Now, the company operates in the Bay Area, in Sacramento, Orange County, and in Florida. Parents can schedule rides for up to a year in advance, and if you cancel in less than 24 hours, you will have to pay a cancellation fee. In addition, drivers are also equipped with booster seats, so if you have a younger child that requires one, you can ask the driver and they will supply it for you. So, um question are you guys interested in driving for zoom do you guys think that zoom is a good idea would you allow your children to ride in a zoom car this is not a zoom promo i'm just curious lyft has partnered with carvana an online dealership for the ditch your car program providing fair value for your car and 250 dollars worth of free rides now, in addition, they want to give you three months of their Lyft Pink subscription, which just launched, which offers 15% discount rides and 90 minutes of bike or scooter rides, which normally retail for 20 bucks. Now, according to statistics, the numbers of car owners continue to grow here in LA, but on average, only two to 3% of the traffic here in Los Angeles is due to ride share. So I'm not really sure why they decided to go with this program, but I think it's pretty interesting that they started it here. On another note, Carvana, it claims that they sell affordable cars because they have such low overhead. Now, this dealership has no salespeople and no showroom. Um, they're a startup as well also, and they've yet to show their profitability. In fact, experts say that their business model is unproven and unworkable and that they will continue to suffer bigger losses in the future. They are a car uh, vending company, similar to how a can of soda is dispensed. 
They've been in business since 2013 and they are a subsidiary of and they are a subsidiary of Drive Time. If you are curious about the Ditch Your Car program, the link's in the description. I think it's silly and I'm just curious who would donate their car unless you just have a car that you want to get rid of. $250 in lift rides will probably last you for two weeks. Like that's not an incentive to sell your car, but it seems like Carvana is in the business of buying cars, so maybe it might work out for you. Now this story is not driver specific, but it could be helpful for those of you that are looking for a job. Lyft is offering free rides to low income job seekers or unemployed job seekers. The company's partnered with several organizations to provide free subsidized rides to the unemployed and those looking to go to interviews and seek job training. They will also offer free transportation for up to three weeks for those who land the job prior to earning a paycheck, which is really, really nice. And I advise anybody, any drivers that are out there seeking a job to find these programs, these organizations that they're partnering with. The list of organizations that they're partnering with is on the website. That link is in the description. If you are curious and I just say, I know how hard it is to find work and to get to your job before you make that first paycheck. So this is very well thought out and I hope that many people are able to take advantage of this opportunity. It will be immensely helpful to a lot of people. So Lyft is offering free rides to job seekers. The company will partner with several organizations to provide free and subsidized rides to the unemployed, those who are going to interviews, those who are seeking job training. They will also offer free transportation for up to three weeks for those who've landed a job prior to earning a paycheck. Now, if you're looking for a job, I advise you to find one of these programs and utilize these services. And now for my favorite, favorite, favorite part of this, what would you do? What would you do in this case? And this young lady writes, dude got legit rude with me when I asked him politely to firmly stop cutting his toenails in my back seat. I heard the first snip and I was like, ooh, hell no. Freaking stinky A foot smelled up my whole car. One star rating for you, you jive turkey, and I'm done driving today. First of all, this girl's personality is awesome. Jive turkey, like that's something my dad says. Number one, if you're cutting your toenails in my car, I'm telling you to stop or you're gonna get out of my car. That's it. Stinky feet, I mean, it just is rude, it's crazy. Who are you raised by? What are your thoughts on this? Has anyone ever done this in your car? Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe do that now. My name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive where I talk about ride share entrepreneurship and starting your own business and whatever else I feel like talking about. Anyway, you can find me on YouTube or Facebook and I uh, look forward to seeing y'all next week.